What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2019 Mitsubishi Outlander uh, right around 26,000 miles on this one. No accidents, no damage, stuff like that in Carfax. You can see it over right here, pretty cleaned up. So this one is a limited, uh, so there's a couple nice little features on the board starter at the front. Kind of that mean, aggressive looking uh, Outlander look. Uh, bumpers and headlights and stuff, trim and chrome. Uh, limited gives you the black wheels. I think they're 18s. Brand new brakes and rotors in there. Tires look like pretty much brand new. Uh, also has black mirrors and black trim at the bottom. So we got a full matching set of Toyo tires too, the whole way around. So right there you can see, they call it super all wheel control, but it's the same thing as all wheel drive and I'll uh, show you that on the inside. But I uh, got, got backup cam and everything on there. Like I said, it is a limited, so it's limited edition. But it's just, Limited. Okay, not sure what that was about. It does have third row seating. Uh, the, sec the third row doesn't, uh, I mean, I'll be honest right now, it doesn't really have a whole lot of room. But the second row seats do slide up and back just like um, a regular bucket seat. So I will actually show you that then. Um, but third row folds completely down if you need that extra storage space. And the third row seating is nice in case you need it. Um, but get a little extra storage just up on the sides. I'm a big fan of these Outlanders, I like them a lot. So, not only do these seats fold up and everything, but they slide. So it's got a slide bar underneath, so you can actually slide them. I mean, almost the whole way up if you need to. And they can actually, you can have other people there. But obviously most people don't need that much leg room. And I'm six foot six, and I've had people sit behind me, and uh, somebody else sit in front of me, so. I sat in the second row. Um, air vents stuff in there in the back. We'll hop on the inside and show you everything on the inside. So uh, all electronic controls on the door and stuff uh, for your mirrors, windows, and locks. Um, the seats are like a two texture, so the bolsters and stuff are leather, and then the middle is kind of almost kind of looks like Alcantara, but. And like the stuff they put in Ferraris and things like that. Alright. Let's go ahead and just lay up the dash here for you. There you can see 26,000 miles. There we go. 26014 time. Alright, so um moves jamming. Um, left side is your headlight controls, um, just a bit of a dial right there, um, also has uh, fog light controls and things like that. Left side of the steering wheel is your volume controls and seat controls, also has your hands-free talking controls, and then the right side is your cruise controls, and behind that is your wipers. Um, does have dual zone climate in this, um, so driver side and passenger side temperatures can be controlled differently, plus you have all your AC can, um, controls down below. Does have touchscreen radio. Um, has Apple CarPlay, which is what a lot of people look for anymore if you have an Apple iPhone. Um, AM FM has Bluetooth audio, obviously. You can connect your phone. Capability for Sirius XM and uh, other apps you have on your phone you can use. Or you can just plug in your iPod, um, which goes in through the USB port down here. Um, that's how you use Apple CarPlay as well, which is really awesome. If nobody knows what Apple CarPlay is, I suggest looking into it. Um, it's a great feature to have in a vehicle. Um, that's audio. So it's the radio right now. Okay, so you can turn on radio. HD radio, which is different. All your... Alright, we want to go back. FM. So how do you change it from AM to FM? Maybe you have to do it through the home screen. Okay, you have to do it through the home screen. But it's all touchscreen, so you can just click and go. So, um, so I will now show you the all-wheel drive controls in this because it's actually a little bit different and it helps you save fuel economy. So if you see the top left-hand part of the screen there, it says normal. Um, all you have to do is click this AWC button down here and that'll change. So right now it says normal. Um, now it says snow. Then it says lock. 
Um, most people just, I just keep it in AWC Eco. Um, my fiance's Nana has one of these and she loves it. And that's what she does. Um, but normal is just normal if you prefer that. Um, so it does have those different settings. So snow settings obviously is kind of like a, a limited slip diff um, in case you uh, are kind of in an icy situation um, where there's snow on the ground, things like that. Or you can just lock it in if it's deep snow. Um, just remember not to go flying down the road with that because that will wear out your diffs. Um, does have lane departure. So there's a button down here for it. Um, what else we got? Oh, sunroof. Yeah, major part of this sunroof. Um, but beyond that, I think that's it for the inside, guys. So we're going to just do a final walk around here. Um, I'd like to be transparent as possible to show you everything. That's great about the vehicle as well as any minor features, flaws that it might have. So we'll just uh, do a walk around to make sure. Take a look at the hood. A couple little stone chip marks there and stuff on the hood. It looks good. That front fender looks good. No door dings or nothing like that. Take a look at the roof. No hail damage or anything like that. It does have roof rack rails on it, so all you have to do is get crossbars. Looks good in the back. Trunk's good. Your bumper's good. Left side of the vehicle's good. Don't see any door dings or anything like that. Left fender's good. So if you have any questions about this 19 Outlander, uh, just give us a call at 717-485-4224. Uh, sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to uh, give us a call, you can always look us up on the web at allthingsautomotive.com. And request information about that, this vehicle, or any other vehicle that we have on our website directly to our website. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a wonderful day.